ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about makeup. Well, not really makeup, but skincare. Um, as an older woman, I really have to focus a lot on my skin to make sure that my skin stays taut um, as I've um, sort of worked over the years with my skin, I've really tried to make sure that I do a couple of things that are really, really important. So I'm going to share those with you guys today. Number one, never go to bed with your makeup on, ever. Just don't ever do it. Don't go to bed with your makeup on. It just, um, it's just not good for your skin. And they, even though people say that today it's okay, you know, to do that, mm -mm, don't do it. Don't go to bed with your makeup on. Um, because all it does is just whatever dirt and oils and everything that's already in your um, on your face it's gonna be in your makeup and it's just it's not a good thing so what I usually do is like if I'm coming home from somewhere in the evening or whatever the first thing I do is I take uh, a scrubber like this one this is uh, yeah, I'm going straight. This is a blemish control St. Ives and I use this sometimes to um, wash my face and the reason why I scrub is because scrubbing is good to get the uh, dead skin off of your face. I usually do this once a week. I don't do it every single day because this particular scrub is a little bit, um, it's real grainy, so it's, it's gonna be a little bit too hard for you to be doing it every day, but I do this one every week. And then this one, this oil of Olay Regenerist, this one I do every day. Because this detoxifying pore scrub is not as grainy as the other one, and it's a really good way for me to wash my face and get it nice and clean. So, second thing I do is after I've done that, um, I go ahead and take my eye makeup off. And uh, sometimes I do this first. Sometimes I take my eye makeup off first, um, but sometimes I do the scrub first. And this is what I use. This is called Clean Artiste. And let me tell you something about this. This is sort of a, well, it's not sort of, it is. It's a dupe for the Bifacil by uh, Lancome because L'Oreal is owned by Lancome and this Clean Artiste in the green bottle is almost exactly the same as Bifacil. And I know because I've used Bifacil for years. And when I went to the drugstore and decided to get this and found that it was $7.99 and then I was able to get one 50% off, so I bought two. This stuff works because it still has the oily, um, it has the oily feel of the Bifacil. If you don't like the Bifacil, there's a blue one like this at the drugstore that's like the other uh, Epicil, which if you're familiar with Lancome, Epicil is the one that doesn't have the oil in it. Bifacil has the oil. This is the one that would replace Bifacil. The other Clean Artiste in the blue bottle would replace Epicil, which is the one that doesn't have oil in it. So I use this with a, um, um, a cotton ball or whatever you want to use to take it off. I use a cotton ball or a cotton pad to take my eye makeup off with this. And this is safe on my eyes because trust me, I've been using this for years. Okay, so after I do that, um, what I normally do is I take a moisturizer. This moisturizer, and I have to say, I'm using this moisturizer now, but I do not like it. This moisturizer is supposed to be a dupe for the oil of Olay, Olay the oil of Olay Regenerous Cream, but it isn't, and I'll tell you why it's not. This one is thicker than the oil of Olay. It's not as creamy as the oil of Olay, and it's drier. So when you put this one on your skin, it's not going to feel dewy. And for me having dry skin, putting something like this on is just making my dry skin worse. So I don't use this one, I use the actual original Oil of Olay Regenerous because that one is the closest thing that I have found to Lancome's, um, oh, what was the one I was using? Um, Regenery or um, High Resolution. High Resolution by Lancome was a cream that I've used a lot. Great cream, used it for years. Um, really just started using Oil of Olay Regenerous just in this past year. But since, and I have to say, probably 19, 1986, I have been using um, Lancome's High Resolution. And I can put a picture of that up there, but I have been using Lancome's High Resolution since 1986 to keep my skin uh, soft and to avoid a lot of the wrinkles. Now I do have some wrinkles. I have lap lines here and I have some, um, I believe it's right here, yeah. And I don't have as much under my eyes because I've always moisturized under my eyes. I have wrinkles in my forehead because I've always had wrinkles in my forehead. But for the most part, I don't really have a lot of wrinkles under my eyes. 
I mean, I have some darkness under my eyes and my eyelids are dark. I, I think I've inherited that from my sister or something because she's got the same thing. So actually concealer works with that. But as far as just cleansing, again, I use, um, I use this and I use this once a week. And then I use the real Olay Regenerous, but right now I'm using this because I ran out. Um, but if you can afford the high resolution or even Absolute by Lancome, all of those moisturizers are fabulous. And trust me, like I said, I've been using Lancome since 1986 and I'm 60 years old and uh, my skin is in really great shape. Even down here, it's in really great shape because I have been religiously using the Lancome moisturizers on my skin. But again, as I said, it's been cheaper for me to get the Oil of Olay Regenerous Cream and this kind of came with it, which was great because it's a, a great cleanser for me. Um, when I'm desperate, this is what I use. When I'm desperate for, for a moisturizer, I'll use this Pons for dry skin and I don't use a lot of it because Pons can be pretty oily. I mean, it's not as oily as like Nivea, but uh, this is still a little oilier for me than I would need for dry skin, although I do like uh, a moisture, moist, moist moisturizer. This is like my last resort. If I can't get anything else, like if I can get the Oil of Olay Regenerous and if I can't get my Lancome, this is what I use um, until I can get the stuff that I really like. So Pons is not bad, it's just like my last resort, but it still works. So those are the things that I use to, for my face in terms of skincare, and that's it. I don't put a lot of other junk on it. I mean, sometimes I use a toner. I don't always use toner because um, I'm really not that oily, so toner isn't really that helpful for me. But um, I mean, I do use toner to get, you know, maybe some of the additional dirt off. But I tell you, this detoxifying scrub does a great job of that. And for, for um, older skin, it also has a lot of things in it that we need. So um, I wanted to come at, come to you guys today and tell you what my skincare routine is. And again, like I said, I've been using uh, Lancome moisturizers since 1986, and this is what my skin looks like at 60. So if you're interested in any of these products that I just talked about, I will put the information down in the description section for you. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how I apply my makeup based on all the things that I've seen these girls on YouTube doing, the things that I would recommend that you do as an older woman or a mature woman, and the things that I would recommend you not do based on what I've learned, I will share that with you in my next video. So as I always like to say, if you're gonna show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good and of course, so are you. See you next time.